Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Fishing Midwest. It's about 12 a.m. Woke up uh, kind of late. Going to get ready for the uh, for the fishing excursion tomorrow. Going to go on the boat uh, on a few different lakes that we've been meaning to try this summer. Um, it's early summer here in northern Illinois. Things are starting to heat up. It's supposed to be about 80 degrees tomorrow, a little overcast. So it should be about perfect. But before I begin, and before I see you guys out in the water, I real quick want to show you um, an order that I made from... Uh, Evolved baits. Um, I didn't get. I, I I just mainly got the basics for what I like to use in the summertime. What I like to use for that kind of post spawn and while those fish are still kind of spawning. Period. Because uh, here in Illinois, the fish really don't stop spawning until about late May, believe it or not. So I'm gonna show you just a few lures that I got from um, Evolve and how I use them and how I fish them. And see you guys in the water here in a little bit. First off, we've got the uh, Viber Grub. This is Juvenile Bass. This is their uh, four inch size. It's a little bit bigger. They make all sorts of sizes. They make a three inch size for like, you know, small job shot rigs. Uh, but I like the four inch because you can Texas rig it. You can use it as a spinnerbait trailer, swim jig trailer. It's a multi purpose lure, to be honest. And uh, while most people may think that um, this is kind of a, a bland lure and doesn't have a whole lot of appendages to it, like most craws or creature baits do, put this thing in the water, try it out, and I guarantee you won't be disappointed. Um, this is an awesome lure and it's got amazing action in the water. It really surprised me to be honest. I was a little hesitant to try, but once I put it in the water, once I used it, I really liked how to use, like liked how it, how it swam in the water and how how that presentation gave off, especially in clear water conditions. But it works in all sorts of waters, murky, clear, um, pretty much anything. And I absolutely love it. This is one of my all-time favorites that uh, that Evolve Baits makes. Then up next we've got the uh, Compact Cross, three-inch Compact Cross. This is in my all-time favorite color. This is gill oil right here, and I like Texas rigging these, putting them on a jig, you can shaky head rig them, they're a very, very small, versatile craw that you can pitch and flip, and I, you've probably seen a few videos where I've used them, I've cut a lot of small mouth on these craws, especially in that gill oil color, that gill oil color works for anything, clear water, murky water. Um, up next, we've got the um, Dark Star Evolve Swim Bays, these are, these are one of my favorites as well, you can use them, just abs, just you know, weightless rig, on a Texas rig. Uh, you can use a swim jig trailer, spinnerbait trailer. One well, again, another one of those multi-purpose uh, lures. But what I want to show you guys tomorrow is I'm gonna be throwing this on an Alabama rig and show you guys how effective this is. And we're in Illinois, so I'm gonna be throwing a three prong. But put three of these suckers on your Alabama rig, and you know the fish go to town. Up next, we got another pack of compact crawls. This is in a not specific in what color. This is a leech fleck. It's a black with kind of a silver fleck to it. And it's an awesome little bait. But again, another really cool color. I like throwing dark or color. Either I'm throwing really dark or really light colors. So that's why I got the gill oil and bleach fleck. And up next, we got another pack of uh, Dark Star Evolve swim baits. And these things are awesome. This, these are probably one of uh, Evolve Bait's biggest accomplishments and biggest baits out there, along with the Viber Grub. Um, these things are so, so sick. I can't stress to you how important it is to purchase these for your summer fishing excursions and uh, when you're going out fishing tournaments. These are, are an awesome little lure. They're durable. Um, you know, you may think you only get four to a package, but these things last a long time and it's got really good action. The way they pour these, the way they inject them, is just is outstanding. Uh, so you try it out, you know. It, it you may seem hesitant at first because if you've never fished with a ball before, but give it a try, fish it. And from my word to you guys, you won't be disappointed. So um, enough talking. I'm going to take these lures and put them on the water. So stay tuned. We're going to get on the water and rip some lips. Catch you guys later. Out in the water. I showed you guys that, that unboxing. And now we're using what we what I just unboxed. This is uh, probably our fifth fish of the day. What I'm doing is I'm throwing a little jig here with that uh, Gill Oil Compact Craw made by Evolve Baits. And uh, we're out on the lake in the boat with Perry and Sam. It's a decent little pounder, a little less maybe. But uh, so we're using that little compact crawl with a jig, really finesse jig. I like to use finesse jigs in summer just because it's got a slow rate of fall and also, uh, you know, it gives those fish some time to hit that. But uh, stay tuned, more fish to come, and uh, keep on watching. Hey, got another one right here on the Volve. We're just, we're just killing them on the Volve. Perrick's got one right now. He's throwing the Max Tackle jig, but uh, just this little crawl. Summertime really gets them. Uh, you see me get them on smallmouth, and now we're getting them on largemouth. Nice fish. Stay tuned, more to come. Hey guys, welcome back. Like I said, we're out in a, a different lake right now. 
Um, this one is, is a lot clearer, a lot more grass. Um, Sam just caught like a one, one and a half pounder on the, on the jig. And I've been throwing this uh, Evolved Dark Star swimmer right here. And I'm weightless rigging it kind of like I would a fluke, but this bait's so heavy that they put, you know, a little bit of salt, a little bit of other content in, in this bait that it sinks. So I don't have to use a weight on this thing. I can just throw it with a, a regular four out hook with a screw lock in it. And that's what I'm doing right now, Gamagatsu. Throwing it on 20 pound test because I'm fishing a lot of grass right now. I don't know if you've seen some of, these, some of these fish that come out of it, but they're coming out of some thick grass. I'm throwing a seven, and a half, uh, seven foot uh, medium heavy action rod. Um, and I'm just swimming it, twitching it. And I've already got one little guy on it, but this is an awesome little bait to use in the summertime when you're just kind of pitching along a deeper shore. I like to work this thing in five foot of water. Sometimes you can, you can buzz it in like inches of water, uh, kind of work it like a top water bait. But the key is to throw it weedless. It'll get down there really fast and you'll catch a lot of fish. Well, it's on a 6.4 to 1 gear ratio lose. And um, glass rod is basically the key uh, when you're throwing these swim baits. And they're awesome little, little lures made by Evolve baits. So uh, we'll get back to you guys once we catch some more. Choke. Just spitting up crawdads. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, Jesus, that's a four pounder. That's three. Two and a half. Any drugs? That fish caught that on the dark stuff. She choked it. She cast right up on that mat there, and uh, she hammered it. I thought, thinking about changing to uh, thinking about changing to uh, juvenile bass color, but they've just been hitting this just pure white with a little bit of uh, blue and black flakes. So I'm gonna keep with it. Nice fish. Gonna put on the scale. Get back to you guys. It's Got a nice one on the dark star right now. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, that's a coach. Get the boat. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That dark star is how you how you do it this time of year. Not a really huge swim bait, but it's really good for some of these smaller lakes that you know like aren't like a thousand acres or whatever. Um, and you can get them. You can use them on Alabama rigs. I had one. I had this originally rigged up on a Bama rig, but uh, decided to throw it with this because there's a lot of grass. But that's not a bad fish. Gonna put it on the scale. Definitely gonna contribute to our best finds. 2.99 oh, 1.0 oh actually no it's stopping 3.04 right there three pounder on that dark star evolve here a little bit i'm going to show you guys how to use this and uh some different techniques a lot of guys would just whip it out there wind it whip it out there and wind it a lot of different ways you can work this little uh bait but um like i said it's a different color not positive what this color's name is i got my pocket real quick this is a uh this is hot fish, blue back with a silver belly, and basically the same hook, so not a bad largemouth on that bait. Chunky fish, nice. chunky post spawn bass. Go back in the water, stay tuned. Like I said, I'd abandoned the jig bite since it's a little overcast now. Start to cool down a little bit, figure these fish are start moving around, kind of hop off their uh, spawn spots and maybe go for a, a little uh, swim bait like this dark shirt right here. But not bad, don't think she's gonna help our best five, but uh, still fun to catch. Catch you guys later. That's a solid fish. She's throwing it right up the shore. A little bit of open water, a little bit of uh, sparse vegetation around uh, the weed along the shore. And this guy just decided to come up and hammer. He's got another one on that Evolve, uh, uh, I don't know what it's called, what is it? Dark Star. Dark Star Swimmer. I think it's pretty cool too, but uh, how's this guy going now? Oh. Here we go, John's got one now. This is on the Dark Star again. Fishing a shallow shoreline. We're watching fish bust out here. I have to fill the Bama rig in a little bit. Uh, see if we can't get a few out in open water, but uh, not a bad fish. Going back in the water. Oh, look at that. Nice three pounder on that compact craw. That one, I was hesitant to set the hook because uh, I, uh, 